Hi guys, so it is early morning and I'm about to start to use 24 hour week song. Um, I explained in my TBR video I'm actually not doing this right, um, I'm not starting at the proper time, I'm not finishing at the proper time um, because I have a gig bang smack in the middle of it that's going to take up like 8 hours um, and then I'm going to sleep. So what I'm doing is I'm starting early, I'm starting at pretty much 9am um, and I'm going to put a timer on. Um, and when I leave for the game, I'm going to turn it off. And then the rest of the time I have, I'm going to use on Sunday, if that makes sense. So I use eight hours up to sleep, um, as I would normally. Um, but the rest of it, I will use on Sunday and have like just some dedicated reading time, because um, I really want to. It's just that I also really want to go to this game as well. Um, it's Eden, um, who's like one of my absolute favourite artists, and I've never seen him before. And this is his first like proper tour. He did Reading Festival last year, um, but I think that was this is kind of it. Um, so I'm so excited. Um, but anyway, so what we're going to be reading, um, the first thing that I'm going to get to is Two Kinds of Decay by Sarah Mangisu. Um, this is a memoir about a woman who has um, a, an autoimmune condition that kind of um, sneaks up on her, I think in her late 20s or early 30s. Um, and she kind of has to learn to deal with this illness and um, interpret herself as an ill person. Which kind of has a hint to that Susan Sontag essay, right? Um, no, 21, so really young. Um, it should be quite a quick read, and I've wanted to read it for ages. I have a cup of tea, floating around somewhere, and I have my little cat, who is all being a bit vicious, but I will show you to her. Hello. Yeah, Foz is um, just having a play around on the bed and stuff. Um, so I will catch up in a little bit and let you know how I get on. So I'm just getting a little bit further into Dewey's now. Let's check. Let's check how far an hour and a half basically um, and I have got myself a cup of coffee that's quite precariously full so I'm actually going to put that down just in case the cat knocks over the camera which she is wilt to do um, and it's like half ten um, I'm doing cheap breakfast I'm having this there you go I know it's not like proper food but um, I have pizza for lunch so I don't really want to eat anything proper this morning um, I am 88 pages into The Two Kinds of Decay and I'm really really enjoying it um, I have had a shower and bummed around and chatted to my brother's girlfriend for a while um, so yeah I haven't finished it off but it is a really quick read and it's just a really beautiful and really honest depiction of what it's like to have a serious illness um, and it's really highlighting as I'm going through that the kindness of the nurses who treated her and I think that's um, really good that she's kind of remembered that. Um, and brought that with her despite it being such a horrible time. Um, so I'm going to finish this one off next and then I think I might finish and then Oliphant is completely fine because I only have like a hundred pages of that left and I ended up not reading that last night. Um, and then we'll see what I feel like after that. I might go for This Is Going To Hurt just to keep it on the kind of medical um, vibe through today um, but I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So I'm two and a half hours into do's now and I've just finished The Two Kinds Of Decay by Sarah Mangisu. Um, so I have read 184 pages so far. Um, I really like this. It is a really touching and honest depiction of a severe illness and um, the feelings and emotions that one goes through when they are so unwell and the prognosis is uncertain. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I read it. I really like her style um, and I wonder if she has anything else because I thought after the last one that was the only thing she'd written. So we'll see. She's only in her early 30s now. so. I can just keep my eye on her. <laughs> um, yeah, so the next one I'm going to read, um, I think, is This Is Going To Hurt, um, but I'm going to have a little bit of a break now to get some lunch and um, just kind of poodle around for a little bit and clear my head and let that book settle before I jump into the next one. Um, and I'll update you guys when I start reading the next one. So I have just started on This Is Going To Hurt by Adam Kay. Um, and I'm just 10 pages in, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I really like the cover as well. I find the yellow really satisfying. Um, it's basically notes from a junior doctor's time um, through training. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of funny anecdotes. Um, I expect some sad ones later down the line. Um, just really fancied it. So I'm going to be reading this one. I'm trying really hard not to lose my page. I'm going to be reading this one. Um, probably through until my brother comes which is at two and then we're going to go up to see Eden. Um, I am just kind of settling into my day today and my mood is kind of staying fairly good. It's, it's treating me okay today um, and I'm hoping that I can stay okay through the tonight as well because afternoons and evenings are always harder for me. Um, but yes I will check back in a little bit further through. So I'm now four and a half hours into Dewey's and 
I've read 124 pages of This Is Going To Hurt um, and it's so good, um, it's really funny and kind of sad um, but I'm really enjoying it so that's just yeah halfway through I would say. Um, my brother is going to be here within the next hour so um, I will read a bit more and maybe just update you before I go. Um, and if not, I'll see you tomorrow because um, the reason I'm starting so early is because I'll be leaving here at like 3 and then I won't get back here until like 11 midnight. Um, so it is properly like most of Dewey's that would have been wiped out. Um, but yeah, really loving it so far. I would really recommend it if you've seen it and are interested but haven't picked it up yet. So it's almost time for us to go to our gig. I've just got myself makeup um, and my brother will be here in about 5 minutes. Um, I've got to page 196 of This Is Going To Hurt, which I think is pretty good going um, for the readathon, like nearly two books already and I'm probably like five, six hours in now. Um, so I'm going to read just a little bit more while I wait for him to turn up um, and then we're off. So I will speak to you tomorrow. I, I might take my camera with me in the car and do like a little bit of driving and maybe if I film on my phone put some in. We'll see. Um, I don't want to like screw the copyright stuff. so. We'll see, I might not put it in, but yes, um, I'm really enjoying this. As I've said already, if you haven't read it, think about checking it out, especially if you're in the UK. Um, it's very, I think you'd enjoy it any way you were, but it, it is very um, sort of uh, strangely patriotic because it's the NHS. Um, but yes, I hope you're enjoying your day, whatever part of your day it is, and I will see you later or tomorrow morning. So it's 20 past 8 in the morning on Sunday, um, I had a really late night, late night last night, um, we got in at like 1am um, and then I talked to my boyfriend until like 2am um, and Foster decided at half 7 this morning that it was time to get food and Foz does not stop when it's time to get food. Um, so I thought seeing as I'm awake I may as well read a thon. Um, so I'm going to finish off This Is Going To Hurt by Adam Kay. I've only got, what's that, 50 pages maybe? A little bit more than that, 60 pages or so left of this one um, and I really enjoyed it so I'm going to carry on with it. Um, and then I might finish An Alot on a Fant because um, I need to finish that for Tuesday and it'd be nice to have it done. Um, and I've really not got very much of that one left um, before I move on to something else. Um, I'm probably going to have to have a nap in today just because like five hours sleep is not enough. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I in terms of how long I'm reading for today, so I was going to class my sleep plus the reading time I had, if that makes sense, and then have what's left, but um, since I only slept for five hours, I'm actually going to count eight hours, um, so I read for five hours in the day and then had to go to the concert, so five plus eight is thirteen, um, so I'm going to say that I have um, the remainder of the time left, so eleven hours. 11 hours left to read um, which will take me until 7pm tonight um, as my my fake dewies. Um, so I'm going to get myself started on this and I'll update you when I finished it. So I've just finished this is going to hurt. Um, I really enjoyed it. It is half nine now. Um, I don't know quite what I'm going to move on to next. I'm going to go and get myself another cup of tea and then have a bit of a peruse around my bookshelves I think. Um, I'm tempted to start Die My Love, but I think I might just try the first few pages and see if it's too heavy, because my brain, I'm just quite tired. Um, and if I don't fancy reading that, um, then I don't think I want to read The Rappy Christ. I will finish Eleanor Oliphant at some stage this weekend, I think, um, but just I find it quite depressing, um, so I don't think I'm going to just get back on that one next. Um, I'm trying to remember what else I have on my TBR. Trying to remember what else I put on there. I can't remember, but I've got a load of pile of stuff that I could read. Um, so I'm just going to have a look and see what I fancy, um, and I'll let you know once I've made a decision. So because I'm really enjoying my current like, non-fiction binge, um, I'm actually going to pick up one I wasn't planning on picking up, which is How to Suppress Women's Writing um, by Joanna Russ. Um, this is a book of non-fiction published in 1983 about the ways in which um, people discredit women's writing in general. Um, the cover's amazing. Um, I saw um, this, an author mentioned this on Twitter and um, said it was a central reading um, and it's really applicable today um, and yeah I just, I feel like, I don't know, my head isn't in the right space just with how tired I am for novels I find non-fiction a bit easier to go through when 
I don't know, it's weird, you think it would be the other way around, but I find it hard to get into stories when I'm a bit tired. Um, so I'm going to carry on with the non-fiction trend with this one. Um, this might be the last one I read. Um, it's like, what, 300 pages long or so? No, shorter than that, like 200 pages long. Um, so we'll see how I get on um, and I will update you as I go. So it's now 3pm. Um, I've just been like schlepping around today in my band t-shirt. Yes, and my jeans. Because um, I'm going to have a shower later before I go to my mum's because I, I need it to last tomorrow. Um, so dry shampoo is a must. Um, so I managed to fall asleep after I spoke to you last. Um, and I slept until half one, <laughs> um, which is good because I was really tired and then it means I'm not going to be overtired like tomorrow and tonight. Um, so I got up, got myself dressed-ish and went out and did my food shopping and got petrol. Um, so I haven't read anything since I spoke to you last, whenever that was, like 11am or something. Um, so I am now getting some food because I haven't had anything since dinner last night, just from one of those weekends. <laughs> and I'm going to read um, more of How to Suppress Women's Writing. Um, I got to page uh, 57 before I fell asleep. Um, so yes, I will have a read of this one. Um, I'm going to my mum's for seven, so I'm going to read a little bit on, but I'll film up until I leave. Um, hopefully you guys are, have enjoyed sort of watching me do this. I've been really aware that I'm like just sitting in my bedroom. Um, I have gone out and done other things. I've been all the way to Birmingham. Um, but it just, yeah, I look like I'm just being really lazy and sitting in bed all the time. I'm not, I promise. Um, so yeah, I'll get on with more of this one. I'd like to finish this one off and then that would be three books in Dewey's, which is pretty good. Um, it's not going to be anywhere near my max, but it's not been the weekend for it, um, which is absolutely fine. Um, and I'm actually, I'm really looking forward to next weekend, just going to my boyfriend's on Friday night and not coming home till Sunday night because I haven't seen him all week, which is the longest we haven't seen one another since we met, which is a bit like a, um, and, um, I had, I had a friend over three weekends ago, I had book meet meetup two weekends ago and then I've had Eden this weekend, so it's just been really busy for me, I'm not, um, I'm not a very outdoorsy person, I'm not really, like, I don't do things like that very often, and I find it quite draining, um, just doing lots and lots of social stuff. I really enjoy it, obviously, um, but it is just kind of a bit difficult for me, I guess. So yeah, I'm, I'm just looking forward to sort of having this week, um, I'm going to go see him in the week, which will be good, um, and then the whole weekend at his, um, just really chill, so, uh, like, I'm kind of, in my head, I'm just drawn to that, that I've got that later this week. Um, Yes, so yeah, chat to me about what's going on in your lives as well. I, I like being able to chat about what's going on for me and how I'm feeling and how I'm doing and you guys know I'm quite open about my mental health and how that's treating me. I and mean, I think that's really helpful. Um, and yeah, just let me know how you're doing, how are you, how are, how's your, how's your reading, how's your life? Um, and I'll catch with you up in a bit when I've finished, finished? When I've read a bit more of that, bloody hell. This is the problem with... <laughs> with videos that are like less edited. I do things like that all the time and just really frustrating. But anyway, I will catch up with you guys in a bit when I've got a little bit further through how to suppress women's writing. So it's quarter to five and I've just finished suppress How to Suppress Women's Writing um, by Joanna Russ. Um, I enjoyed it. I found it a little bit technical. It's definitely um, not a kind of chilled essay style, but it wasn't unapproachable at all. Um, and I think it was quite an important book to have read, um, and I'll definitely be thinking about it as I read going forward. My hair is such a mess. Um, so that is the third book i finished so far. Um, I think I'm going to try and finish Eleanor Oliphant, because um, I thought my book club was on Tuesday, but actually it's tomorrow, so um, I think I'm going to get on that for the last hour um, that I'll have to read here, because I am going to my mum's for seven. Um, so yeah, I mean I might have a bit more than an hour actually. Um, so I'm going to go and get a shower now because, look at this hair. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go and get a shower now um, and get changed and sort my washing and then I think I'm going to finish Eleanor Oliphant and that may be it. Um, or potentially I'll pick up one more thing. Um, we will see. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with that so far. I think three books isn't bad and with Eleanor Oliphant that should be like four books finished. Um, it's pretty good for like a 24 hour period. Um, and it's been really nice just to have the time to read because um, I haven't dedicated this proper amount of time for reading um, since before I met my boyfriend. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been nice to have um, the time and space to just sit down and 
really enjoy reading for a, for a day or so. Um, so yes, I will catch up with you guys in a bit when I've had my shower and I've sorted myself out. Okay guys, so it's half past five now. I'm leaving with my mum's in an hour and I'm going to try and finish off the last bit. Ooh. The last bit of Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine by Girl Honeyman. Um, I'm currently on page 262 and it is 325 pages long. We'll see how I get on in that in an hour. I think I should be able to finish it and I'll let you know how it goes. So it's just gone 6pm and I have just finished Eleanor Oliphant which is great. Um, I'm really glad I finished that one off as well. Um, so I have read three books. Um, I think I've probably read somewhere between 500 and 600 pages. Um, I'll put a number up as to what it actually was there for you guys. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think I made pretty good you know, reading time considering um, that it was a busy week, kind of a busy weekend for me, or rather a weekend with an interruption in it and then lots of sleep. Um, and it's been really cool. I've finished four books. It's pretty good going. Um, I'm not quite going to my mum's yet, but I'm going to sort some stuff out, unpack, and then head over there. Um, my mum's moved house and I've not seen it yet, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it and I'm just staying the night with her and um, going on to work tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, so it's been really nice. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It feels like it's going to be really long, um, but it's hard to know because for me it's already been two days. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Um, don't know what I'll film next, probably a TBR I think. Um, and yeah, look after yourselves until then. Bye. <laughs>